Welcome to our first Mathematica tutorial. Today we'll focus on matrices, basic built-in functions, and finally plotting. First we'll start with initializing matrices, manipulating matrices, and using basic matrix operations. We'll start by defining some 1 by 3 vectors A, B, and C. Vectors can be made using curly brackets and comma-separated elements. On the right side of the screen, you'll notice something that sort of resembles a square bracket. Slurs of code are placed in these brackets called cells. Cells can be deleted by simply highlighting the bracket and pressing delete. We evaluate cells by pressing shift enter. Say we didn't want to see the output of the variables. We could suppress their outputs by putting semicolons beside the expressions. And say you wanted to use those vectors again. When you type out any of the variables, say a, we see that this vector is now stored inside of A. If we wanted to clear all of those, you would use the clear function and just the names of the variables you want to clear. And you'll notice that when a variable doesn't have anything stored inside of it, it turns blue. So that's a good way to identify if a variable is in use or if it isn't. Now, making matrices is pretty much the same as making vectors. You can just think of them as making vectors that have vectors for their elements. To illustrate this, we'll make a matrix the long way and then use vectors A, B, and C to make a matrix as well. So the long way would be defining each row of the matrix inside of a vector as comma separated vectors. And the quick way is once you've defined vectors already, we can just plug them right into a, another vector to make a matrix. Now, if we wanted to call a specific row or element of the matrix, we could do, do so using double square brackets. Let me just put a one there so that they don't overwrite each other. Say we wanted to call the first vector of the first matrix or the first row. And if we wanted to call a specific element, Let's say we want to call A23. We want second row, third column, shift enter, and we see that we have our vector, our first row, and the element A23. You'll notice that the outputs of matrices just look like a horizontal list of vectors in the curly bracket form. If we wanted the visual representation of the matrix, we could use the matrix form function. This only creates an image for visual purposes and can't be assigned to a variable or manipulated in any way. So let's go ahead and um, get the name of the matrix, double slash, and then matrix form. And there they are. Okay, now that we have matrices, some important operations we'll need are cross products, determinants, inverses, and transposes. Luckily, we have some built in functions for those.
and there they are. Now let's quickly suppress those outputs and display them a little bit nicer. So just some semicolons to suppress those outputs. And then we'll use prints so that we can label all of our matrices. And once we have those, finally, we'll put all of our outputs into matrix form. And there we go. We'll be doing a lot of work on Mathematica with matrices. So it's important to know the different functions we can use with them and how to manipulate them. Our next tutorial or next part of this tutorial will take a look at some other useful functions.